So, Joe, um, we've been talking about supernatural events and spiritual warfare. Tell us a little bit about that. Once we actually got out here and started the sessions, um, that's when stuff started happening. And at first, you kind of play it off. You know, you don't really even think about it. It's just the random issues that come up and all that sort of thing. But there were some pretty dramatic events. And for that, we have to start in the studio. I think that's a good time. The father rose from tending fields when he saw his son leaving home and down. So, Joe, we're here in the studio now. So, um, we've been talking about some uh, spiritual warfare, some um, supernatural events. So, tell us how it, it all started. I get to the studio. We set up, get all the equipment ready to go, and I play Greg the song, just getting refreshed on the, the, the piece. And um, I play him the whole piece. And right off the bat, Greg uh, made two producer calls. Yeah, I, um, I thought the song needed to be rearranged a little bit, so just made a couple of quick production calls on it. He had a long intro. And I decided, I thought, thought the intro was a little bit too long to get into the vocal. And so I said, let's split this up, have a shorter intro, and then we need a bridge. So the intro got broken into two parts. We actually used, used the second half of the intro in uh, leading into the second verse. First half is in the intro, the beginning of the song. Second half is in the uh, middle of the song. And then we bring back the beginning of it at the end as a coda. And then the bridge. And the bridge was the craziest thing there was no bridge yeah there was no bridge if this were any other song uh, i probably would have been in panic mode at that point and i have always 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 struggled with a bridge i just i don't know why brain block or whatever and so when he said that it was again the most bizarre thing so that's why i said we had to start talking about the crazy supernatural stuff with this part of the song because when he said that my reaction was just to say, well, how about this? And I started playing and I played the whole thing through and he had one comment after that. I liked it. And we, we talked briefly and I said, but change this last chord, go here. And he goes, okay, da, 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 da. And I'm like, bingo. And he went, I like it. And I like, I like it. It was really wild. Uh, it was just a, how about this? Yeah, I like that. Change the last chord, go up instead of down, and bam, we were done. So w you've been working on this song? 15 years. For 15 years. Yeah, and instantly wrote a bridge. You just, yeah. yeah. Why do you think that happened? Well, we're about to find out. Um, because that bridge was just indicative of everything that God was doing with this project. He had a plan. And that bridge got held back for 15 years and just bam, all at once, there it was. And that part of the song becomes the next part of the really dramatic God stuff. Just God doing a really powerful, emotional thing. And that's, that's the next video. Yeah, I'd like to make a last comment on that is that it's sort of like God went up to the spigot and turned it and it's dripping a little bit on the bridge. It, right. It's a little water flow, but he's about to crank, crank yeah. the hose open on, on Joe.